Meet India's $20 billion air power leap, INS Vishal aircraft carrier revealed, the game changer in the Indian Ocean. With growing tensions in the Indo-Pacific and China's expanding naval presence, India is planning its most ambitious maritime project yet. The INS Vishal, a next-generation aircraft carrier expected to cost upwards of $20 billion. Dubbed India's supercarrier, INS Vishal could redefine naval power in the region and tilt the balance of power across the Indian Ocean. India is stepping into a new era of naval dominance, and it's doing so with a $20 billion floating fortress. Meet INS Vishal, the proposed supercarrier that could become the centerpiece of India's Blue Water Navy. Larger than anything India has built before, INS Vishal is not just a warship. It's a bold signal to rivals like China and Pakistan that the Indian Navy is ready to rule the seas. But what makes INS Vishal so special? How will it compare to US or Chinese carriers? And what kind of air power will it bring to the fight? INS Vishal, the big brother of INS Vikrant. India currently operates two aircraft carriers, the INS Vikramaditya, a Russian-modified Kiev-class ship, and the INS Vikrant, the country's first indigenously built carrier. But INS Vishal, officially designated IAC-2, Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 2, will take things to an entirely new level. INS Vishal is expected to displace 65,000 to 70,000 tons, nearly double that of Vikrant. It will be nuclear capable, although India is still deciding between nuclear propulsion and an integrated electric propulsion system. This massive vessel will not just be a floating airbase. It's designed to be a force projection platform capable of hosting advanced fighter jets, drones, helicopters, and electronic warfare systems. The Katabar Leap, India enters elite carrier club. Unlike its predecessors, INS Vishal will likely use Katabar, catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery technology, similar to what the US Navy uses on its Gerald R. Ford-class carriers. This system enables the launch of heavier, more capable aircraft, including AWACS, airborne warning and control systems, heavy fighter jets like the Rafale M, and eventually stealth drones and UCAVs. Katabar will make INS Vishal the first non-Western carrier to use this launch system, putting India in a class above China's Stobar-based carriers like the Liaoning and Shandong. Emals, US Tech, Indian Carrier. Here's where things get even more interesting. India is in talks with the US defense contractor General Atomics to install Emals, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system on INS Vishal. Emals offers faster, smoother, and more energy efficient launches compared to steam catapults. It can launch both heavy fighter jets and light drones, offering unmatched flexibility. If the deal goes through, INS Vishal could become the first carrier outside the US Navy equipped with Emals. That's not just a leap, it's a quantum jump in capability. A floating air force, what will fly from Vishal? What kind of aircraft will populate India's new supercarrier? Likely candidates include Rafale M, the naval variant of the Rafale already in use by France, TDBF, twin-engine deck-based fighter, a next-gen Indian naval fighter under development by HAL and ADA, MQ-25-style aerial tankers or UCAVs, to extend range and strike capabilities, AEW and C aircraft, Fixed-wing early warning aircraft, like the E-2D Hawkeye or an indigenous alternative. With Katabar and Emals, the Vishal could field a more diverse and powerful air wing than any other Asian carrier. Paired with onboard drones and AWNC aircraft, Vishal will have 360-degree situational awareness and the ability to jam enemy radar, blind missiles, and disrupt enemy communications, all while coordinating massive air operations. The $20 billion question, why so expensive? INS Vishal could end up costing $15 to $20 billion, making it one of the most expensive defense projects in Indian history. However, the investment is seen as necessary for India to maintain strategic dominance in the Indian Ocean and deter threats from China's growing navy. One of the biggest debates surrounding INS Vishal is how it will be powered. Will India go for a conventional propulsion system like Vikrant or aim higher with nuclear propulsion? A nuclear-powered Vishal would give India unlimited operational range, allowing it to stay at sea for months, 
just like the U.S. Navy's supercarriers. This would be particularly crucial for long-duration operations in the Indian Ocean, South China Sea, or even Pacific waters. However, building a nuclear-powered carrier requires an immense technological and financial commitment. Reports suggest India is leaning toward a conventional power plant to avoid delays and manage costs. But defense analysts continue to push for nuclear propulsion to ensure Vishal remains relevant in the 2040s and beyond. Countering China, the strategic imperative. The timing isn't coincidental. China is rapidly expanding its carrier fleet, with three operational carriers and more on the way. Its third carrier, Fujian, features a Katabar design and could rival U.S. capabilities. If India delays Vishal, it risks being outpaced. India's strategic planners see the carrier not just as a weapon, but as a mobile deterrent able to project power from the Gulf of Aden to the South China Sea. INS Vishal would anchor a carrier battle group, CBG, with destroyers, submarines, and logistics ships, serving as a floating command center for operations across thousands of kilometers. Challenges ahead, politics, budget, and technology. But this ambitious project is not without hurdles. Technical challenges. Integrating Emals and Katabar on an indigenous hull is uncharted territory. Developing a nuclear or hybrid propulsion system domestically remains a huge task. Political slash budget constraints. India's defense budget is already stretched thin. Critics argue that India should prioritize submarines and drones over carriers in a modern naval battlefield. The debate is fierce within India's military and political circles. When will INS Vishal be ready? Realistically, if construction begins within the next few years, INS Vishal could be operational by 2040. That timeline includes the bigger picture, India's blue water dreams. INS Vishal is more than just a ship. It's the cornerstone of India's transformation into a true blue water navy, one that can operate far from its shores, protect shipping lanes, respond to regional crises, and deter hostile powers. It signals that India no longer sees itself as a regional power, but as a global maritime player. From disaster relief to deterrence to strike operations, Vishal would be India's strategic Swiss army knife on the seas. Conclusion, a bold vision for the future. INS Vishal is India's most daring naval project yet, a $20 billion symbol of ambition, resilience, and deterrence. If completed as planned, it will represent one of the most advanced aircraft carriers in the world, reshaping naval dynamics in the Indo-Pacific. Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more captivating content on our YouTube channel.